Welcome to Wizard for Single and Married with Samuel Olagbe and Joe. Don't forget this program runs from Monday to Friday by 7 p.m. Tell your friend, tell your loved one about this program. And as you follow us on this page, your marriage will not be the same. You will succeed in marriage. Today we are discussing about six ways to be the woman your husband cannot do without. Number one thing you need to do, if you want your husband to, to, to love you forever, if you want your husband to bring the best out of you, if you want your husband to go extra mind for you, number one thing you need to do is to give him peace for the rest of your life. Give your husband peace of mind for the rest of your life. One of the greatest gifts you can give to your husband is peace of mind. There is no marriage without peace. A man cannot fulfill the destiny if there is no peace in the marriage. There are so many men who are going through challenges in their marriage. There is no peace. The issue is that men don't talk. They don't talk. But anytime I have a, the opportunity of talking to men, of discussing with men, a lot of men too are going through marital crisis in their marriage because there is no peace in their home. There is no peace in their marriage. If you want your husband to go extra mind for you, if you want to enjoy your home, if you want your husband to bring the best out of your life, you must learn to give him peace. Don't be your husband's greatest enemy. Don't be a terror in the life of your husband. Don't be a knife. Be a wife. The difference between a wife and a knife. You must create an atmosphere of love, an atmosphere of friendship and togetherness. You must go extra mind to bring the best out of your marriage. You must destroy every bad attitude, every bad character that is messing up with the peace of your marriage. You must make your home a place of love, a place of enjoyment, a place of peace. Your husband must not regret getting married to you. You know, your husband left so many beautiful women and he went for you. Don't allow your husband to regret getting married to you. So one of the greatest gifts you can give to your man is peace of mind. Work on yourself. Work on your character. No matter how beautiful you are, if you don't have godly character, you will make a mess out of your marriage. Many men are running away from home according to the size. They are running away from their marriages because there is no peace in their marriage. There is no peace in their homes. So if you want to be the woman your husband is praying for, if you want to be the, the woman your husband cannot do without, you must intentionally give that man peace of mind. You must create an atmosphere of peace in that marriage. And as you do so, you will enjoy that man for the rest of your life. Number two, you must learn to support your husband's vision. You must learn to support your husband's vision. You must be number one supporter of your husband. You must go extra mile to support your husband. You must go extra mile. Be his number one supporter. This is one of the greatest gifts you can give to your husband. You must find out about your husband's vision, about your dreams, about his dream. There is no limit to how far your husband can go in life. If you give your husband your total support, if you give your husband your encouragement, there is no limit to how far your husband can go in life. They do say behind every successful man, there is a woman. That, that is true. There is a woman behind them who, who is giving the man a total support. 
So one of the ways to bring the best out of your marriage, one of the ways to, to, to bring the best out of your man is for you to support your husband totally. Totally. Pray for your husband. Pray for him. Pray about his vision. Pray about his, his dream. Commit his vision into the hands of the Lord. So one of the ways to be a woman your husband cannot do without is for you to support your husband prayerfully, emotionally, support his dream financially, support his dream. Give your totality to his dream. And it shall be well with your marriage. Number three things you need to do. Number three things you need to do. You must respect your husband unconditionally. You must learn to support your husband what? Unconditionally. One of the major needs of a man, of your husband, is respect. You can't get the best out of a man you don't respect. You can't get the best out of a man you don't honor. You must learn to respect your husband unconditionally. If you want to build a successful marriage, a glorious marriage, a romantic marriage, you must learn to honor that man. You must learn to respect that man. Never raise your voice against your man. Don't abuse your husband. He will, he will make error. Your husband will make some mistakes. He is a man. He will make mistakes. But don't abuse your, your, your husband. Respect his leadership. Respect his, Obey his instruction. If you want to go far in your marriage, if you want to bring the best out of your, out of your husband, if you want your husband to go extra man for you, you must learn to respect that man. No matter your qualification in life, no matter how worthy you are, how beautiful you are, you must learn to honor that man. Never degrade your mind in the public. Never, never embarrass your husband before your children. You must learn to honor your husband as your king, as your Lord. So one of the ways to bring the best out of your marriage, out of your husband, is to respect that man unconditionally. Number 14 you need to do is for you to be your husband's prayer partner. It's for you to be your what? Your husband's prayer partner. The Bible says a wise woman builds a house. One of the ways to build your marriage, one of the ways to build your husband is to pray for him always. Is to pray for him without ceasing. You know, how far that man will go, it determines how much you pray for him. There is no limit to how far your husband can go in life. If you can pray for him without ceasing, Learn to pray for your husband. A praying woman is a winning woman. If you want to win maritally, if you want to win in every area of your life, you must learn to pray for your husband. Learn to pray with a season for your husband. Is there any character in the life of your husband that is giving you headache? You must learn to table the character before God. The Bible says the art of a king is in the hands of the Lord. So as a woman, if you want to get the best out of your husband, you must learn to pray for your husband. Your marriage is your first ministry, and you must not fail in that ministry. If you want to get that, the, the best out of your husband, prayer is a necessity. Prayer is a must. There are some enemies that will be contending with the success of your marriage. One of the ways you can win that battle is to pray with a season. It to be a praying woman. It to, it, 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 it to develop your prayer life. There is no battle you cannot win in life if you are a praying woman. So secure your marriage with your prayer life. Learn to fast every week for your marriage. Learn to pray every day for your marriage. If you want to go far in marriage, so pray for your husband. Secure your marriage by the power of prayer. The next point, the next thing you need to do, you must learn to humble yourself. You must learn to do what? To humble yourself. Never allow pride, arrogance in your marriage. 
No man can go far. If they allow arrogance and pride in their marriage, you must, be, you must humble yourself and apologize if you offend your husband. I've come across some husband who complain to me that my, my wife is proud, my wife is arrogant. She will never tell me I'm sorry if she offends me. And many women have destroyed their marriages because of the spirit of pride and arrogance. Pride is a marriage killer. Never allow that in your marriage. If you want to bring the best out of your marriage, if you want to be the best out of your home, you must learn to humble yourself. Learn to say, I am sorry. Why will you want to lose your marriage? Because you cannot say, I'm sorry. There are people who have lost their marriage because they are too proud to say, I'm sorry. They are too proud to say, please forgive me. So learn to humble yourself. Never allow pride in your marriage. Don't be defensive. If you know you offend your, your, your husband, don't be defensive. Humble yourself to say, I'm sorry, for you to save your marriage. This is one of the ways you can bring the best out of your marriage. The, the next point, which is the last one, you must learn to give your body generous, generously to your husband. Learn to give your body generously to your husband. There is no good marriage without good sex. You must learn to make love with your husband. You must learn to give your body generously. Sex must be regular in your marriage. Stop giving excuses every day. Your body is paining you. Tomorrow, your body is paining you. Next month, your body is paining you. You will soon lose that marriage. If you have any challenge with your sex life, you can see a therapy. Don't deny your, your, your husband of your body. There are people, there are couples who have not made love for the past one month, for the past two months. You may soon lose that marriage if you don't do something about it. I do tell couple, you must make love at least three times in a week if you are too busy. If you are too busy, you must make love two, three times in a week. And as a woman, you don't have to be in the mood for you to have to make love. You don't have to be in the mood. You can initiate sex. You can be intentional about sex. You can initiate sex every week, once in a week, twice in a week. You don't want to wait for your husband to invite you for sex. You can initiate sex. You can invite your husband for love making. So be generous with your body. This is one of the ways you can get the best out of your marriage. Let's stop it for today. I want to share this video, share this video with your friend, with your loved one, and make comment. If there's any question you want to ask me about your marriage, about your relationship, you can put it in the comment section. And if there's any, if you want to sponsor, if you want to sponsor this program, if you want to run advert, you can call the number on the screen and we will attend to you. Your marriage shall be the best. You will not fail in marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm.